Hello, everyone, and welcome to this month's podcast from Submissive Guide. I'm your host, Luna KM. Today, we're talking dirty. Let's get past moans, groans, and sighs to practice our naughty vocabulary and turn on our partners. But first, I want to share some exciting news with you. I have released a brand new educational guide on anal play. It's called Exploring Anal Pleasures, a Submissive's Guide to Anal Play and Training. And it's available now on Amazon as a paperback and Kindle, as well as at other digital book marketplaces to download. If you've ever wondered about anal play, how to start anal training with butt plugs, or what the best lubes and toys to try out are, I'll show you. Go to subguide slash anal play to learn more. That's S-U-B-G-U-I dot D-E slash anal play and get your copy today. When it comes to sex, we all know that open communication is the key to unlocking deeper connections and sizzling pleasure. In that realm, one powerful tool can take things to a whole new level. Dirty talk. But let's be real. For many of us, diving into the world of dirty talk can feel like navigating a minefield of uncertainty, awkwardness, and societal taboos. Let's explore the ups and downs of discovering the magic of dirty talk, and most importantly, provide practical tips to bring hot or trashy sex talk into your bedroom. So prepare to break free from inhibitions as we embark on an irresistible adventure where desires are voiced, boundaries are pushed, and pleasure reaches new heights. Let's dive in. It may not be surprising, but I wasn't always great at dirty talk. I consider myself quite prolific now, and it works for Nightmare and Me on many levels. Talking dirty enhances our play and sex quite regularly. My first experience with anything sex was through porn. The girls of porn taught me how sex might be for me. And so when it came time to have sex for the first time, I tried to copy them. Well, at least the dirty talk anyway. But it was cumbersome, uncomfortable, and odd feeling. Worse yet, I felt embarrassed by the simplest terms of anatomy like pussy and dick, breasts and ass. So because of that discomfort, I quickly ignored my partner's lust at hearing me try to talk dirty and resorted to moans, groans, and sighs. These utterances seemed so much safer and more comfortable. Later in my sexual journey, I found a fantastic book that gave me the tools to try Dirty Talk again. Exhibitionism for the Shy, Show Off, Dress Up, and Talk Hot by Carol Queen is a fantastic foray into exhibitionism. No matter how shy you are or are not, this book has something to help you express yourself sexually. The Talking Dirty chapters helped me realize that I could be more audible in bed and it would enhance our sex play. I tested a few of her recommendations, and while one or two fell flat with Nightmare, the others did what I wanted them to. It wasn't long before I wanted to use dirty words again. You too can learn how to talk dirty, get over your embarrassment, and make it an exciting addition to your relationship. Section 1. The Importance of Communication in Sex Picture this. You're with your partner, ready to get it on. But without proper communication, you might as well be talking different languages. Being able to talk about what you crave and need during sex can turn your experience from meh to mind-blowing. So, why does communication matter? Well, think of it as a secret decoder ring to unlock pleasure. By openly sharing your desires, boundaries, and fantasies, you give your partner the inside scoop on what makes you tick in the best way possible. For example, Maybe you want your partner to whisper naughty words in your ear, or perhaps you'd love to hear them describe their fantasies or even direct the action. It's all about finding those magical words that turn you on and using them to guide your partner toward maximum satisfaction. But it's not just about speaking up. It's also about turning up the heat with your words. Imagine the seductive power of a whispered confession, like telling your partner how much you crave their touch or describing in vivid detail what you want them to do to you. And let's not forget the playful side of dirty talk, where you can explore fantasies, role-play scenarios, or even share some saucy compliments. 
The possibilities are endless, and by embracing this level of communication, you create a safe and exciting space for both partners to express their desires, build trust, and take your pleasure to dizzying new heights. Section 2. The Challenges of Dirty Talk We all know that the idea of dirty talk can be tempting, but when it comes to putting it into practice, it can be a challenging addition. As I just shared, one of the significant hurdles to talking dirty is the fear of feeling awkward or embarrassed. Talking explicitly about desires and using specific words related to sex and anatomy can initially make you feel like a stumbling teenager trying to find their footing. It's essential to remember that everyone goes through this phase, and it takes time and practice to find your authentic voice in dirty talk. Another challenge stems from the influence of unrealistic expectations set by mainstream pornography. Many of us have been exposed to exaggerated performances and scripted dialogue in adult films, which can create a distorted perception of what real sex and dirty talk should be like. When attempting to replicate those dialogues, it often feels unnatural or disconnected from our desires and experiences. It's crucial to realize that dirty talk is not about mimicry or imitation, but rather about finding your unique style of expression that aligns with your desires and comfort level. Moreover, societal taboos and stigmas surrounding explicit language and sexual expression can be an obstacle. We've been conditioned to believe that certain words or phrases are vulgar or inappropriate, leading to shame or guilt when trying to voice our desires. Breaking free from these societal constraints and embracing the freedom to express ourselves sexually can be difficult. It requires challenging and reevaluating these preconceived notions, recognizing that consensual communication about desires is a healthy and essential part of sexual relationships. No matter the challenges to building your skill at dirty talk, accepting it as a natural and erotic form of communication will open the doors to the many benefits those naughty whispers bring to your playtime. Section 3. The Benefits of Dirty Talk Now that we've tackled the challenges, let's talk about the benefits that Dirty Talk brings to the table. Dirty Talk has an incredible ability to ignite desire and intensify arousal. If you love to hear naughty whispers in your ear, you probably already know how much of a turn-on that is. When you and your partner engage in explicit neurotic conversation, it creates a potent cocktail of anticipation, excitement, and connection. Sharing your deepest thoughts and cravings strengthens your emotional bond with your partner. Effective open communication is the backbone of a DS relationship, and while it may not seem like dirty talk is part of that openness, it can take it to the next level. When you can talk about your fantasies, desires, and how the intimacy you share makes you feel, it provides your partner with a roadmap to heightened pleasures for both of you. This open dialogue can lead to a greater understanding of each other's needs and a more fulfilling sexual experience. One of the areas where communication and dirty talk meet is during sex and play, where the moans, groans, whimpers, and other words you use can create a positive feedback loop. This loop provides energy to the scene and turns you both on. To learn more about creating a feedback loop during play, read our article, How to Be Responsive During Play, on Submissive Guide. There is a link to the article in our show notes. As you embrace the freedom to vocalize your desires, you can tap into your authentic sexual self, boosting your confidence and self-esteem. Finding your voice for dirty talk can unleash your inner seductress or seducer, heightening your pleasure and igniting a sense of empowerment. It allows you to shed inhibitions and embrace your unique desires, creating a safe space for exploring your fantasies and discovering new pleasures. By experimenting with different words, phrases, and scenarios, you keep the sexual energy alive and prevent routines from becoming mundane. Whether you engage in playful banter, whispering sensual confessions, or indulging in explicit roleplay, the possibilities are endless, making each encounter an exciting adventure. Section 4. Overcoming Barriers. Six Tips to Practice Dirty Talk. Here are six tips to help you up your naughty talk game. Number 1. Become more vocal. The first step that will help you get more comfortable talking during sex would be to just start making more noise. Don't worry, we aren't jumping straight to explicit phrases yet. 
were starting with moans, groans, sighs, and gasps first. These natural sounds are powerful in conveying your enjoyment. Once you can get used to hearing yourself enjoy sex and listening to your partner enjoy sex, it can open up your confidence for using words. Number two, practice during masturbation. No matter how private your moments are during masturbation, whatever the fantasy, you can vocalize to yourself. Start with whispers and the non-words that were just suggested. Get comfortable hearing your voice while you pleasure yourself. After a while, start using one-word phrases. Yes, God, fuck, oh, and even your partner's name. As before, whisper them first and then get a little bolder, and before long, you'll be able to scream these words. This practice helps you become more attuned to your voice and builds confidence. Number three, write out and memorize hot phrases. This step can be a game changer, especially for those struggling to find the right words in the heat of the moment. Take some dedicated time to write out your hot phrases. Start with the ones that immediately come to mind and feel natural. Don't worry about perfection at this stage. It's all about getting your thoughts on paper. You can draw inspiration from erotic literature, steamy movies, or even conversations with your partner about their deepest desires. Let your imagination run wild and jot down any phrases that get your heart racing. Once you have your hot phrases, it's time to commit them to memory. Read them aloud daily, preferably before bed or during moments of self-pleasure. By repeatedly speaking the phrases, you'll become more familiar with them, and they'll flow more naturally when using them during sex. Gradually, you'll internalize these phrases, making them easily accessible in the heat of passion. Number four, explore sexual slang. Understanding and embracing sexual slang can add a playful dimension to your dirty talk repertoire. Recognize that there are numerous ways to describe sexual acts and body parts, and each person may have their preferences. Engage in conversations, read erotic literature or online resources, and watch adult content if you're comfortable to expose yourself to various sexual slang. This will help you discover new terms that resonate with you and align with your comfort level. Take note of the ones that catch your attention and make you feel empowered or excited. While slang and terminology can be exciting, remember that authenticity is vital. Don't force yourself to use words or phrases that don't resonate with you or feel unnatural. Instead, personalize the slang you've discovered to align with your unique desires and experiences. Adapt the terms to suit your style and the dynamics of your relationship. The Dirty Slang Dictionary is an excellent place to start. If you need even more, Buy the book Sex Talk, Uncensored Exercises for Exploring What Really Turns You On by Lauren Dockett. Both of these links will be in the show notes for you. Number five, break down your mental barriers. Dirty talk can feel taboo or intimidating for some, but breaking through these barriers opens up a world of pleasure and connection. Identifying that block will help you free yourself from the feeling of taboo and open your mind sexually to the joys that talking dirty can bring to the bedroom. Reflect on any underlying beliefs, cultural influences, or past experiences that have shaped your perception of vocalizing during sex. Society often imposes taboos and stigmas around discussing explicit desires or using certain words in a sexual context. It's crucial to challenge these taboos and reclaim your sexual autonomy. You can overcome these barriers by recognizing and challenging the societal taboos, building your confidence gradually, and creating a safe and non judgmental space with your partner to explore dirty talk. Number six, describe. One technique to become more vocal is describing the sensations you're experiencing. Start by saying simple phrases like, that feels good, I'm so turned on, or I love it when you touch me there. As you grow more comfortable, be more specific and vivid in your descriptions. Share how you feel inside, describe the tingling sensations, or express how wet or hard you are. This descriptive approach enhances your pleasures and gives your partner a glimpse into your erotic experience, creating a deeper connection between you. 
Then you can begin to describe what your partner is doing to you. Like, yes, kiss me, lick my pussy, suck my dick, or fuck me hard. I hope these few tips will open your mind and eventually your mouth to some of the hottest sex you can have when you just verbalize. Remember, becoming more vocal during sex is a journey that requires practice and self-acceptance. By starting with moans, groans, and sighs, you gradually build your confidence in expressing pleasure, laying the foundation for future explorations into dirty talk. So embrace your curiosity, find your favorites, communicate with your partner, and let the power of language take your sexual experiences to thrilling new heights. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We hope you learned how to begin talking dirty with your partner. We would love to hear what you've learned from this podcast. Mention at Subguide on Twitter and Instagram or on FetLife using at Submissive Guide. Before we go, we'd like to thank our Submissive Society on Patreon who chose today's topic. If you'd like to help us pick the next podcast topic and get exclusive rewards, head over to subguide slash society and explore the membership options. That's S-U-B-G-U-I dot D-E slash society.